Look out the ring, man. Look out the ring. They gonna be everywhere, man. what's good youtube it's your boy blue blood sports tv back at y'all with another one so bullet gibson trainer of rolando roly romero star lightweight junior welterweight title contender Rolando Roley Romero is heading into a title fight for the first time in his career at 140 at junior welterweight. His last fight, he fought undefeated three-division world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis. That was May 28th of last year, in which he was knocked out in the sixth round of that fight. And Bullet Gibson and Rolando Roley Romero, they're known for their unorthodox style of training their author unorthodox style of fighting right um and roly romero is on the verge of mastering that style of fighting right so uh bullet gibson's takes up the challenge of fighting to facing off against this uh behemoth right this absolute giant of a, a man in a sparring session and you can see the unorthodox style of bullet gibson with this giant and the giant is landing big punches but it's expected. This dude is extremely big. What's your thoughts on it? Let me know. I know many people were saying Bullet Gibson was getting at work in this sparring session. I don't think he was getting at work. He was being defensive. He was being, uh, he was trying to be a counterpuncher. You know, um, he was trying to be defensively responsible. Uh, he got caught with a few punches. Uh, the big guy, you know, definitely, you know, has a little bit of boxing skills. Very big dude extremely big um but as far as bullet gibson getting that work because many people they were sending this to me and they was like man look at bullet gibson man he getting that work no wonder why roley you know uh is unorthodox but i don't see you know bullet gibson uh fighting in the same manner roley romero you know um it, it, it's a little bit of reminiscence of how roley fights but he just seems to be you know um you know uh, a little more uh, defensively responsible than what Roly is, but you know, he's a trainer, you know, every trainer is not a, don't have to be the best boxer in the world. Some of the greatest trainers in the history of the sport of boxing wasn't the best, uh, fighters in the world if they fought at all. Okay. Uh, actually you want, you can make a case that the, some of the worst fighters, you know, Freddie Roach wasn't the best fighter. Emmanuel Stewart wasn't the best fighter. You know, Derry James is not the, wasn't the best fighter, but you know, uh, they are some of the greatest trainers to ever grace the square circle. So, you know, um, it's it's it just depends on you know the um, you know the the knowledge of the sport of boxing. So, what's your thoughts? Drop the comment. Garnier watching Blue Bud Sport TV. Wow.